the diaphragm is traversed by three important tubes. The largest of these is in the posterior midline, and that is the aorta. So the descending thoracic aorta crosses the diaphragm almost exactly in the midline to become the abdominal aorta. And this is the widest of the three major openings in the diaphragm. Another large opening, slightly to the right of the midline and in the central tendinous portion of the diaphragm, is called the vena cava hiatus, because this opening transmits the inferior vena cava. And as soon as the inferior vena cava crosses this opening from below upwards, it drains into the floor of the right atrium within the fibrous pericardium. And the third of the three major openings is slightly to the left of the midline, and it's through the muscular portion of the diaphragm behind the central tendinous portion. And this opening is called the esophageal hiatus because it transmits the esophagus along with the vessels and nerves that accompany the esophagus. So these are the three major openings in the diaphragm. These three openings are not all at the same horizontal level. In fact, the aortic opening is approximately at the level of the 12th thoracic vertebral body, or the upper border of the first lumbar vertebral body. So it's the lowest of those three openings. At a slightly higher level, level with, shall we say, the 10th thoracic vertebral body, is the esophageal hiatus or the esophageal opening. And the highest of these three major openings is the vena cava hiatus, which is to the right of the midline, but level with, shall we say, the 9th thoracic vertebral body. You're not